what is poppin y'all so welcome back to my youtube channel today i am actually going to just oops <laughs> i'm just gonna walk you guys not walk you guys through i'm gonna take you guys through on a booty workout with me right here in my home um i actually recently just got this bar well my boyfriend bought this barbell with some weights um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some hip thrusts real quick, real quick. I'll go ahead and record it, but I know not everyone is gonna have a barbell at their home. So I have it, so I'm gonna use it, but I will be doing other exercises that you guys can follow along or kind of like just use dumbbells or resistance bands with it. So I'll go ahead and take y'all on this workout with me. Fuck, I keep messing with this thing. <laughs> All right, let's do this. all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and warm up our glutes here i'm just gonna do some banded lateral walks sometimes i like to do this sometimes i like to foam roll sometimes i do both like i do in this video right here if you want to check it out i talk a little bit more in depth on the benefits of warming up your muscles before training um, but if you do not have a resistance band, go ahead and try this movement right here. These are clams. It's the same exact motion, same muscle, your um, abductors. And uh, your only resistance there is going to be gravity instead of a band. So if you don't have any equipment, there's always another option, you guys. Always. Okay, and now I'm just doing my barbell hip thrusts, and here I'm doing uh, reps of 15, 12, 10, 8, and 6. The lower, yeah, the lower the reps, the higher the weight. So as I went, as I kept going, I just kept adding more and more weight. But if you do not have a barbell or weight, go ahead and try this variation of hip thrust. It's just body weight hip thrust and holding it at five for five seconds at the top and squeezing so so hard like trust me your ass will be on fire there's no way you won't be able to feel it there okay yeah i'm just feeling myself get it on. so here i believe i just added the 25 pound plates onto each side and then i'm just going to go ahead and do uh, i believe this one is 12 12 or 10 reps for this one um, I really like doing like ladder sets um, where you go up in weight and then down in reps just because you can get literally every kind of rep range in your working set which is literally like it's optimal for muscle growth because you need to progressively overload on the weights in order to grow your muscles. You're not going to get big and bulky, you're not going to get gross, but you will get a fat ass, especially if you drink your protein shakes, okay? If you want to know more about protein shakes, check out this video right here. It's really educational. Yes, okay, whoa, whoa, Grace, why is it, why is it morning and, and why are you in a different outfit? So yeah, I um, stopped that workout and I went to go get Krispy Kreme because I was just, I just wanted some donuts, okay? So this is the rest of the workout. So I went and continued to do some sumo deadlifts and if you do not have a barbell, your girl got you. Boom. All you need is some dumbbells, and you can do the exact same movement. Um, you can ju you can get just as good glute activation with dumbbells. Um, I suggest going on Craigslist because they would they have a decent amount of weights that you can get. Because I know that like Walmart and Target are on back order right now due to everything happening. But yes, try Craigslist. They'll definitely have some. Or eBay, they have some too. That's actually where I got this bar and plates. But yes, sumo deadlifts are literally so good for the booty because you can progressively overload, like I just said, which is what you want to grow your muscles, okay? And if you do it correctly, it's like all ass. All ass. It's amazing. Look at that. I'm dying. I love sumo deadlifts. I feel like sumo deadlifts and hip thrusts were like a game changer when it came to growing my glutes. So here I'm just continuing doing some Romanian deadlifts um, just to kind of fatigue the booty a little bit more. These two, if you do it correctly, you feel it just the glutes. Um, and this is another variation that you can do if you do not have a barbell. 
Here I'm doing the beast stance RDLs, but if you want, you can put your feet together so it's the exact same thing as I'm doing with the barbell. But just because I had lighter weight, I wanted to make it a little bit harder and do one leg at a time. There are always going to be a variation of exercises, okay? Even if you like, you're doing one and you have a, the amount of weight that you want, but you don't feel it where you should feel it, adjust it. Adjust it to how, adjust it to your body. Maybe your body can't do a certain movement, so completely take that out and supplement it for something else, if that makes sense. Um, just because you see someone doing an exercise doesn't mean that it's meant for you, okay? Just because I'm doing these doesn't mean they're going to work just as good for you. This is why I always tell my clients, you need experience and you need to see what works for you, okay? And then here I'm going to do some reverse hypers. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure this will work for everyone. Because, <laughs> dude, these are so good for the booty. Oh my god, and I just couldn't figure out how to do these or where to do these. So I was complaining to my boyfriend, and he was like, dude, just fucking do this. So yeah, I'm on the couch now. But if you don't even have a couch or something to lean up against, you can go ahead and do them on the floor like how I'm showing here. It's literally the exact same thing. It hurts just as bad. There's just not that range of motion like I have in this one. Um, but it still targets the glutes very well. And you can also do that one with bands as well. Bands and dumbbells, and you can get a pretty good booty workout. Any workout, honestly. So if you don't have bands and dumbbells, go get some, okay? You can also 100% do this exercise without any bands as well. It is just as hard. If you want, you could also lean up against like a kitchen counter and do it with your legs straight just to have more resistance on your legs. And then here I'm just finishing up this workout with some banded donkey kicks as well as some frog pumps. I love doing these after my workout, kind of as a burnout, just to really fatigue the glutes because these are such glute isolated exercises that can literally done, literally be done anywhere with no equipment. You don't even need the band for the donkey kicks and it'll feel just as painful. And you don't really want it to be like extremely painful, but you know what I mean, burning. And then here I'm just going to do some fire hydrants and the frog pump still just to finish off the glutes and yeah that concludes this workout so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all in my next video <laughs>